Bruce International Limited present the Bruce Tensioner, another innovation in mooring technology from the producers of the award-winning Bruce Anchor. It is a simple device for pre-tensioning opposed anchors to very high setting forces using only regular anchor handling equipment, allowing anchors to be set to their maximum design load before a platform or vessel comes on site, thus giving extreme confidence in the security and integrity of the mooring. This is the iron ore transfer station Boca Grande off the coast of Venezuela. In October 1988, the Bruce Tensioner was used to pre-tension nine of its ten 12-ton anchors in only 60 meters of water off the Orinoco Delta. Each anchor was set to a minimum of 204 metric tons using only a standard towing winch on the anchor handling vessel Invincible. The chain used for each anchor leg was 4.5 inch diameter oil rig quality stud link chain. The following video combines actual footage from the project with scale model demonstrations to describe the operation of the Bruce tensioner. The tensioner uses the tension in a bite principle which has been known for centuries. We will see in this first sequence how the tensioner operates using scale models. One of the opposed anchor chains is attached to the tensioner by means of a suitable shackle. The other anchor chain is passed through the tensioner and is termed the active chain. The tensioner is lowered to the seabed down the active chain by paying out its attached retrieval pendant line. Once at the sea floor, tensioning may begin. The active chain is heaved up by the vessel and the tensioner automatically latches onto the chain and is lifted off the bottom. This induces tensions in the horizontal anchor legs of around three times the applied vertical pull, setting the anchors into the seabed. After a suitable heave height is reached, the active cable is slacked back. The tensioner automatically releases and falls down the chain to the seabed, effectively shortening the chain and removing slack from the system. Further heaving on the active chain increases the tension in the anchor legs, and by repeating this yo-yoing process of heaving up and slacking back, the anchor loading can be progressively increased until the desired pretension is reached. The tension can be recovered on completion of tensioning or at any time beforehand if necessary by hauling up its retrieval line. This releases the tensioner from the active chain and allows it to be recovered to the surface. In the following sequence filmed offshore Venezuela, the active chain has been stoppered off and the tensioner is already attached to the dead man anchor chain. It is at the seabed having already been used to set a previous anchor. It is recovered to the surface by means of its retrieval line. The tensioner decks easily in an upright manner when recovered in this situation. Here on the deck of the Invincible, the active chain has been stoppered off in the shark's jaw. The tensioner retrieval is hauled in to recover the tensioner. Even when the attitude of the suspended chain is such that the tensioner does not actually deck over the stern roller, it still decks in a smooth, controlled manner. The Bruce tensioner, suitable for 4.5 inch chain, 
is relatively compact and weighs only three tons, making it easy to handle on deck using normal handling methods. This is readily demonstrated by the use of tugger winches to turn the tensioner onto its side to allow the active chain to be reeved through it. Once the tensioner has been turned over, the tuggers are then used to reeve the active chain through it as shown. The main work wire of the vessel is attached to the active chain. As we saw with the models, reaving the chain through the tensioner is a straightforward process. And the vessel work wire is attached using a shackle. The load on the active chain is taken up by the work wire winch and the stopper on the active chain is removed. Both the work wire and the tensioner recovery wire are paid out together. In this way the tensioner is deployed over the stern roller into the water where it is then lowered down the active chain to the seabed. The shark's jaw stopper is removed from the active chain. The tensioner is deployed over the stern roller and into the water. It is then lowered down the active chain and this is indicated by the tensioner recovery wire being seen to twitch on the anchor handling vessel deck. With the tensioner at the seabed, tensioning may begin. As we have already seen, heaving in the active chain sets the anchors into the seabed with a pull of some three times that applied vertically. Slacking back the chain allows the tensioner to fall further down it. Repeated yo-yoing of the system progressively embeds the anchors until the required setting tension is achieved. Once this tension is achieved, it can then be held for a period of time to ensure there is no slippage occurring at the anchors.
Here we see the first heave being taken on the active chain. It is then slacked back to allow the tensioner to fall further down the chain, which is clearly noticed at the surface. Another heave is then taken to increase the tension at the anchors and this is then again slacked back to allow the tensioner to fall once more to the seabed. When the required setting tension is achieved, it is then held for one hour to ensure there is no slippage occurring at the anchors. When this hour has been successfully completed, the system is relaxed and the tensioner falls to the seabed once more, ready to be retrieved. Once the required pre-tension has been achieved, the tensioner is retrieved by hauling in the recovery line. This releases the tensioner from the active chain and allows it to be brought to the surface. The system is brought on deck and both anchor chains are stoppered off. The dead man chain is disconnected from the dead end of the tensioner
and the vessel work wire is disconnected from the end of the active chain. The tensioner is then hauled clear of the active chain and the pre-tensioning operation is complete. So there you have it. The Bruce tensioner allows opposed anchors to be completely pre-tensioned up to maximum design capability if desired prior to a platform or vessel coming on site. Previously this would only have been achievable using expensive specialized equipment but the simplicity of design and small size of the Bruce tensioner mean that only standard anchor handling equipment is required. By way of comparison, the remainder of this video shows a competitor's tensioner being used on the same project. This is the Stev tensioner produced by Vryhoff Anchors of Holland. This tensioner works on a similar principle to the Bruce tensioner but is very different in design. The Stev tensioner shown here suitable for four and a half inch diameter chain is considerably larger than the Bruce tensioner and weighs 20 tons almost seven times the weight of the Bruce tensioner. Handling this machine on the deck of an anchor handling vessel presents problems simply because of its huge size. Rigging the stev tensioner is a much more involved process than rigging the far simpler Bruce tensioner. <laughs> Furthermore, the deployment operation and recovery of this tensioner is far more difficult than compared with the Bruce tensioner. For more information regarding the Bruce tensioner or any Bruce product Contact Bruce International Limited, Elm Tree House, Elm Tree Road, Onken, in the Isle of Man. Bruce products are patent protected around the world, and this video is copyright material. Thank you for your attention.